So thus it is written in the Psalms, Al Tabo'eni Regel Gavo. King David says, Let not the foot of arrogance, the leg of arrogance, come to me. And this way, through allowing the spirit of the tzaddik to spread in our limbs, Nispatel Havers Elilim, Kmashikosib Rachaturagalichem, Havers Elilim, this way the idolatry is nullified as it's written in. Genesis 18, when uh, Abraham says to the angels, and wash your feet, he wanted his business to wash off the idolatry from their feet. Now when the legs are elevated through dance, it's the category of his heart lifting up his legs through this when the arrogance is nullified when the idolatry is nullified through this the severe judgments are sweetened because man sheish av rezor ba'ilam mechan af ba'ilam ochesh nis aber av rezor nis aber achroin av as long as there is idolatry in the world there is anger in the world but when the idolatry is removed that way the anger the spirit of divine anger also is removed from the world the kindness is drawn down into the world and then the legs come into the category of being the legs of those who love God God's chasidim this is the concept of the flow of divine kindness into the world. These are the faithful kindnesses of King David. They are called Ne'emonim, faithful specifically. Because the atheism and the denial of God has now been nullified. The arrogance has been nullified. Until now we've spoken about the legs, about the dance. Now Rabbi Nachman comes to the aspect of the hands, the clapping of the hands. This is the concept of the clapping of the hands. Precisely through the influx of the spirit, there is revealed the radiation of the hands. Also, through the Spirit, there is revealed the radiation of the hands, and this relates to the verse in Song of Songs, which says, The voice of my beloved was knocking on the door. And the verse continues, My beloved set, sent forth his hand through the hole. So the concept of the voice of my beloved was knocking. The idea of the knocking is the dofek, the pulse, the beat. Right. That is the concept of the ruach, the spirit, as mentioned in the Tikkun And the continuation of the verse, my beloved sent his hand specifically to the whole the hand this is the concept of when the spirit is beating that is when the radiation of the hands is revealed and this is expressed in the concept of clapping your hands for joy in prayer and religious ecstasy and then the idolatry namely the arrogance is nullified this is the concept that was written by Moses when he was praying in the war against Amalek and his hands were emunah his hands are now radiating with faith in the one God out of all this discussion we conclude that through the spirit in the heart namely the spirit of the tzaddik which a person submits himself to when he is prepared to surrender himself to the teachings and the spirit of the tzaddik through this the radiation of the arms and the legs is revealed and this is the concept of dance and hand clapping the nispatl hagayi vavakfirus the arrogance and the atheism are nullified when it's rabbe ha'emunah
There is a growth of abundant faith. The Oz Niskayim Ragli Omdo Bamishor. She will have a mona, can I miss it? Because not to you ragloi, can my mother also, can I not to you ragloi, she never shone al Shehisio in the Bolaminus, who was shone but ragli on the Marisha Mar al Mona, was Niskayim a hit yod of Emona. So we have in Psalms the verse that says, My leg stood on the straight place. This is an allusion to emona, because atheism, doubt, skepticism, is the concept of my feet wandering off the track. They've gone astray, like Asaf, the temple singer, says in Psalm 73, my legs almost went astray, I almost succumbed to atheism because of all the travels. Wow. His heart was inclining towards atheism because of this darkness that he saw. But then, when the psalmist says, my legs, my legs stands on the straight place, <coughs> this is the concept of emuna, and then there is fulfilled the verse that his hand is the hand of faith. Now we continue on to section Zion of this teaching. The Torah itself has the category of hands and legs. The Torah contains two levels. It contains the level of what is revealed, and it contains the whole esoteric, mystical level which is contained in every word of the Torah. So the Torah itself has the category of the hands and the legs, the concept of the revealed and the concealed. And Arab Nachman brings verses as textual proofs of this statement. The verse we quoted earlier from Shira Shirim, my beloved sent forth his hand through the hole. The Hebrew word for hole is chor, and chor relates to what is said of the words of the Ten Commandments. They were inscribed, engraved upon the tablets of stone, and the inscription of the words on the tablets in the concept of the revealed Torah. It's written there plainly in front of your eyes. The concealed level of the Torah is called the legs. Our sages speak about this concept based on another verse in Song of Songs which speaks about the round, uh, the buttocks of your thighs, the, the rounded buttocks, just as the thighs are covered over modestly with clothing, so the secrets of Torah must be covered over by a thick clothing of the apparent simple meaning of the text, which covers over the mystical meaning and the whole Torah is called the heart. The first word of the Torah is the letter base, voracious. The last letter of the Torah is the letter Lamed, Yisrael. So the Lamed and the base spell out the word heart. So the entire Torah is contained within these two letters, Lamed, base, the heart. So we have here again, on the level of the Torah, all of the factors that the Rebbe earlier spoke about in relation to the Tzaddik. And they fit together because the Tzaddik is the Torah. He is the walking embodiment of the Torah. The Tzaddik is the one who truly fulfills the whole Torah. So now continuing with section Ches of this Maimah. V'zeh b'chines Mordechai ve'ester v'hamah. B'chines Purim, b'chines Geirot shipil hamah, b'chines Omer se'erim. All of the introductions we have had so far, which Rav Nachman 